Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do marbling. Basically, I got a kit bought for me, and I'm going to give it a go. I have never done this before. So what I got in the pack were some little cards, a tray which has got some water in, five colours, I'm, I'm assuming those are bookmarks, some gift tags and some pipettes to do with the effect. And that's the kit I got there. And this was purchased from Hobbycraft for £5. So I'm going to film like this so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm probably not in it. I'm going to choose two colours. I think I'm going to go for blue and green. So I'll just move the others out of the way and basically let's get started. Not too much because apparently he just lays on top and then you swish it around in the water, get it till you're happy with like a design and how it's looking. Not too, you don't want it too circular or anything like that. So basically you just get the design you're after. Um, I'll give you a closer look at that if you can't see. What's happening there is it all swishing round and stuff like that and basically that's the effect you're going to get onto your cat. So now what you need to do is grab whatever you're wanting and apparently you just place it on top for the time being. I'm just going to give this a, one last whoosh around everywhere so there's something on the card everywhere. Basically we're going to place that on top there like so and then we're gonna do not fully submerge it in this is what I'm assuming and you get a rather cool effect and basically what you need to do is let that dry for the excess water and stuff and you can pop something else into there if you want um, with the paint that's left in and basically Add another design in. And so on. So I finally finished all of the designs. Um, I'd say that it was quite a good little pack, but I wish I had more specialised paints for the marbling effect because with those little tubs, it was really limited. And basically, the stuff that I had, it just about covered that. But maybe if with more practice, I could have like done it in lighter colours, as the instructions said. But um, so lo and behold, these are my final designs. And then I decided to do one of my frames, which I think looks pretty cool. So that's me for today and I will see you tomorrow.